What's up, YouTube's Mike with Eyes Reptiles. So I'm finally doing another vlog. Uh, I've been sick. You're probably hearing my voice. You're hearing my voice throughout the video. Uh, the kids have been sick. There wasn't a lot going on, so I just didn't have any time or much to, to video. But stuff's finally getting rolling, so I'm finally putting out a vlog. And on that note, hit that notifications bell below so you're notified whenever I am getting uh, videos out. But the purpose of this video is basically to show off my new Freedom Breeder 1040 rack. Uh, I actually have an extra level on there. Um, and it's also going to show off my first clutch of 2019. So again, hope you enjoy and uh, see you in a little. What's up? So as you can see, my Freedom Breeder rack came in. This vlog, since I haven't done one in a while, is going to be all about putting together the new rack. They hooked me up with some gear, a couple shirts, a hat. I'm loving it. Yeah, your boy. New Freedom Breeder rack. Oh, yeah. It's the 1040 rack. I got two extra levels, though, so it's like 48 animals that I can add or fill this with very pumped one of these freedom breeder 1040 racks but I got an extra level that I'm going to put on this one, my original. And then my new one will also be 11 levels. Um, and these are nice, just to give you an idea. This is, that's like a 16, 1700 gram super chocolate female. All right. Um, here's a 1500 gram pastel lesser. Uh, heck clown uh, They fit perfectly fine in there now the big girls don't go in here, but you're growing up animals sub adult animals things like that uh, here's a 1100 gram mystic potion All right, some of my bigger males I hide in here uh, as well I also keep some of my rainbow boas and carpet. Uh, sorry children's python spotted python down there on the bottom But anyhow the new rack is gonna go over here so right now that's all my turtles those are all the baby turtles um, those will all get moved outside in the spring um, and I'll have new baby I'll have all the babies from next year I keep uh, the hatchlings in their first year and then after that they live outdoors for the rest of their lives but uh, so all of this is going to get moved to either the shed in my backyard or over to that corner same thing here. Things here that are not 100% necessary are going to get moved out to the shed. Um, or it's going to go underneath the table that I have here. And this is where the other 1040 rack is going to go. It's going to be 11 high. It's going to go right there. Doing this vlog. Showing off. Um, setting up the new uh, 1040 Freedom Breeder rack. I figured I would show some of the snakes. So this girl here. Literally, as I'm filming this, is on day 41 after her pre-lay shed. Um, she's full of eggs. I don't know why she's holding out, but I'm really hoping she gives me eggs soon. The longest I've ever had a female go was 42 days. Um, tomorrow is 42 days, so I hope she gives me eggs very, very soon. Uh, over here, this girl is due in about 20 days or 22 days. All right. This girl here should be shedding in about two weeks. That'll be her pre-lay shed. This girl here is swelling real big. I don't know if you can see right now, but she's got a solid swell. She'll probably have her full ovulation very, very soon. Um, back over here. Uh, this girl here is starting to swell. Should have an uh, ovulation soon. Um, and this girl here starting to swell. Should have an ovulation soon. So things are coming along. What is that? One, two, three, four, 
That's like five girls already. I got a bunch of other girls building. This girl here had pretty big follicles. Uh, she's got stuff in her water. Pretty big follicles the last time I ultrasound her. That uh, this girl here had pretty big follicles the last time I ultrasounded her. So stuff's definitely coming along, definitely getting excited. I got a bow over here behind me that's starting to swell. Males in with her right now, so I don't want to bother him too much. So yeah, things are coming along. Um, I will show you guys throughout this video the build, the move, all that kind of stuff. But again, yep, right there's going to be the new rack. All right, so now the space opened up. Over here, I have my turtles. All the storage underneath. It's definitely tight here. Getting back to my rat room. But it'll do for now. Remember, the turtles are only a uh, winter thing. They all go outside in the spring and summer, fall. And I'll figure out something better maybe for next year. Because eventually I'd like to put a hatching rack in this corner. Fill this whole back wall with hatching um, tubs. There's the base. First heat panel. It's pretty simple. You just keep adding next level. Put the little pieces of uh, Velcro down. Add the next heat panel. As you add the levels, you add your uh, your tubs, and it's just pretty straightforward. That's the way it looks. Next layer's on, tubs down on the bottom. Then we put the next layer on. Pretty simple. I'll show you when I'm a little farther along. Figured I'd show you some other snake stuff while I'm down here. This here is a GHI chocolate 100% head ghost. Pos head albino male breeding a champagne enchi head ghost female. Should be some cool stuff coming from that. Uh, I think she's in like the 10 range for follicle growth, maybe 15 in that range. So she still has got a way to go, but I figured I'd show some breeding as well in this video. So we're three levels up. I'm gonna do four levels, then I'm gonna put the steel pull out things after the fourth level, or maybe after the fifth. That I don't have for the one over there. All right, so we're about halfway there. Uh, so on that rack there, I did not get this, which I regret a little bit. What this allows is you can pull this out and put the rack right down on it or put stuff on it while you're working. So I, I did get it for this one, and I'm excited to use it on this one. Um, I also, for that rack there, I put the thermostat on the fourth level. Because it's going to be 11 levels, I put the thermostat on, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but there's that little clip thing there. That's where the thermostat probe will go right into that thing, and that's on the fifth level on the new rack. So again, I have, I'm about halfway. I have, I think, five or six more levels here. And then I am gonna add one more level to that one. All right, day 43, this girl finally gave me some eggs. It looks like a huge clutch. Now she was over 3,000 grams last time I weighed her. You can see a lot of eggs look like they're in there. She's finally done and I'm super pumped. All right, I'm pulling her out and I see a lot of eggs. I see at least one slug. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think there's like nine, maybe. Nine good eggs and a slug. I'll know for sure in just a little bit. But just giving you guys the update. All right, it's done. So it's the Freedom Breeder 1040 rack. I got one extra level, so it's actually 11 levels. I also got the, those for putting, you know, when you're cleaning and stuff. I also got another level for this rack, the original one. So it's 11 also. But it gives me 48 more tubs. Very pumped. All 
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video, watching me build the, the rack, um, pulling the eggs, showing you the eggs. Uh, I'm really pumped about that clutch. Fingers crossed I hit that world's first double recessive. I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I've only moved a couple snakes in here so far, but uh, I'll show you this one here. This is a, and this is how these work, by the way. These metal things here, I can pull a rack out, stick it right on here, come on in. We have a, la uh, what is this, a pinstripe lavender albino female. So we'll end on her. Osmond Reptiles out.